morning everyone and welcome back for some more flying um do a day one with it being the weekend um hopefully everyone's all well so today i'll be flying in the airbus a320 we've got the jet 2 livery on and um, we're going from Lee's Bradford to Pisa, which is in Italy. Um, so yeah, just hopefully everything is working. Just bear with me, folks. Just let me double check my mic is working, which it should be. Um, yeah, that's fine. So it's um so it's all okay. Let me just um do my links. Hopefully everyone's all right. Um, if you'd like to fly along with me, we are on the North Europe server, and there's my um ad. Uh, just make sure that the O in Jody is a zero. It's not a letter O. It's a, a zero so it's j zero d i e space one two three um so yeah that's if you'd like to join or add me on um the game for future you know future uh flying so we'll just um do just um, put the stream on. That's fine. Um, smart. Um, what's that? And then I'll just show you. If you notice at the top as well, guys, that is the departure information IFR low altitude airways we're going from runway 14 as that's the only runway at Lee's Bradford um, the departure is pretty much straight down um, the UK towards London not quite just touching London we're going a bit um, far um, to the left and then the arrival and then the approach so we'll um, just I'll just show you the flight path so we're going from Lee's Bradford which is a little bit cloudy this morning we're taking this departure this like orange line so we're going um, near Sheffield, across Lincoln, across um, like the um, this ship near Norwich of uh, the UK. This is my well, this is my local airport, which is Lee's Bradford. Um, as I am a Lee Yorkshire girl, then we'll cut across the ocean, uh, the um, English Channel. We'll fly over France and then um, we'll go across this little ocean here and then the green one is our um, like our right like our approach and then the magenta one is our um, arrival portion sorry no the green ones the arrival and the magenta ones the approach so we'll just check the lot work our descent will be around this waypoint which is banker we'll be cruising at thirty-seven thousand feet so that's okay and the weather conditions will put all players on so we can see everyone um so yeah we'll we'll jump in guys 
and hopefully we'll have a nice comfortable flight um just to let you know this will be broadcast um tomorrow um onto youtube channel so i'll just put my youtube link If I can find it, uh, two seconds, guys. Um, so I'll just put the um, link to the YouTube in if you want to watch it back, if you want to check out new content. So that's the YouTube channel. Um, please subscribe. Just There's a lot of um, different videos on there. So there's a mixture of everything to keep you entertained so let's get on with today's flight as our um, livery the jet 2 here we go here we are at Lee's Bradford There's quite a lot of people over there as well um, might be a bit busy with it being the weekend but yeah, let's um, set the aircraft up, do our checklist. And get our climb altitude. So we are at climb altitude, 13,000 feet, we'll put the, la the flight director on, uh, we'll do the panel lights as um, we like to illuminate them a little bit, you don't have to, I just like to um, put them on. Um, so performance, uh, one, zero, and then it's the third button down for flaps. Make sure that flaps come down as they have to be 10% um, for um, takeoff. And press flight plan. 10% um, flaps. Now we'll do our engines. And then we'll do the speed brakes to armed. And then we'll we'll do the lights on the aircraft. Um, so beacons on, we want the wing lights on, we want the nav on, we want the nose to taxi lights. We want the seat belts on and um, of course the no smoking flight. Uh, press B on the keyboard to reset the altimeter. Let's uh, wait for the engines.
A bit um a bit rainy over Leeds and Bradford this morning, but we should be okay for takeoff. Um, so now we have to do the after engine starting and then just like do this bit here which goes pretty fast. Here we go. So just to point out I'm on the um, Xbox Series X um, and I'm using the Elite um, Series 2 controller. At some point I do want to get a flight stick but for, uh, you know I've only been flying uh, around a month or two so we'll, um, we'll just get used to the controller um, there's our aircraft and um, yeah we'll request pushback from the tower so ground services request pushback All right, there's there's no um, talk for us, so we'll just um, we'll just turn round. Where are we going? We're going to the left. So with it being a small air airport, Lee's Bradford, they might do they might not do where to put you know pushback tugs. But it's fine. We'll just um do it this way. There's no aircraft here so we're okay. Reset the ultimate so the tower knows where we're going, where we are. Oh, someone uh, just, uh, they're taking off, not too sure. Oh, being a bit silly there, mister. So we'll um, get lined up for the runway. Make sure we get our clearance. And then we'll be off, guys. So this is where we arrived the other night, um, we did land here, we had to do the um, turn around there and then come back. So we'll do that, um, there's nobody on the runway, nobody coming in so we're all good, we'll um, oh. There's someone there as well, flying overhead. So we're, we're just taxiing. Oh, that was silly.
So we'll taxi to our uh, uh, runway, which is at the end here. There's nobody else coming in. So we'll look. Oh, I think that one's there. So what we'll do is we'll take this bend here and then uh, we'll turn around and then we'll use the full runway to take off guys. So we should get our clearance. As we approach the end of the runway. They were there. So yeah, um, Lee's Batford have only got the one runway, so in real life I've been to this airport a few times, so it is a little bit busy taking off landing, and yeah. So we've got our clearance take off, we'll just go nice and steady and use um, as much runway as we possibly can as it is cool. There's another one take off there, a bit steep on the nose. climbing that's fine so cleared for takeoff So we'll just stop around there, get into the flight deck, uh, reset the position, reset the altimeter. Uh, we need the lights on uh, for takeoff. There we go. And um, yeah, let's get out of here, guys. So um, we'll. Um, Take the parking brake off, throttle up, and then wait till we get enough speed, and then we'll lift off. Uh, how do you get that game? Um, I got it on Xbox. I've got it on Xbox Series X. So I've got it on Game Pass. So yeah. That's how we get the game. Welcome, welcome to the channel. We've just taken off from Lee's Bradford. So we need to get the throttles back to climb. There we go. And then the flats need to go up as well. There we go, up we go. There we 
like, oh, we've got a good enough climb. Got the landing gear up. Yeah. Um, we've got the autopilot on. Check. We've got the CL position on the throttles, which is check. And our flaps are at zero percent. So that's everything that we need to do for takeoff. We'll just wait for the um, air traffic to um, tell us our next altitude. Oh, you've got Game Pass too. Oh, nice. Yeah, I got it on Game Pass, the game. Anyway, thanks for your um, follow. Very much appreciated. So yeah, we're going from Lee's Bradford, which is here in the UK, my local airport. Um, and we're going to Pisa, which is in Italy. Lovely. So, bit of cloud. Yeah, going through the clouds, but we'll um, fly over them. Get our next um, altitude. Next altitude will be around once we get to 13,000 feet. Get the next altitude reading. We'll get continue to climb out. The uh, cruising altitude is 37,000 feet. And then, um, yeah, we'll be all plain sailing, really. Nearly at 13,000, she'll tell us to climb out. So we'll just get ready with the altitude change. So it wants us to go to 23,000 feet. So we'll just um, let it do its business, it'll climb. Keep an eye on your um, in screen, your um, instruments. Just keep an eye on them. Once we get to 18,000 feet, that's when we've got to do the pressure to standard. And then um, the aircraft pretty much flies itself until um, you get um, to landing, things like that. Not much to see. It is a bit cloudy out this morning over Leeds Bradford. But once we get past these clouds, we should be okay. A little bit busy as well across Leeds Bradford. Oh, there's a rainbow there as well. Flying over what is Leeds City Centre, which I've been to countless times. So we'll get ready with the pressure. We'll do the pressure now that we're above 18,000, so we'll have to put it standard. There we go. Standard. There we go. So we're flying over, um, like, we've just flew over the city centre. 
So, um, there'll be the stadium somewhere, um, unless I've already flew over it. Um, well, yeah, we've um, probably flew over it by now. But yeah, we're, um, we're all good. altitude Here we go, so we're going to 33,000 feet, sorry, we'll go to 33,000 feet. Uh, let it do its thing. We're dipping a little bit. Um, we'll just... There we go. Sometimes that happens uh, during takeoff and Thing. Sometimes the autopilot doesn't um, click on sometimes to the flight path so in that case if you notice that you're going a little bit off course just disengage the autopilot, turn your aircraft towards the green line and then re-engage the autopilot and it's fine now. Uh, we'll change the ND range now we've um, departed so we'll just change that so we can see what's coming up. Here we go, we've done the departure. We can take the um, um, takeoff lights off. There we go. And um, we are flying um, stable above the clouds and we're heading um, towards Pisa which is um, Italy. So that's fine, um, we'll just continue as planned. Uh, once we're on the standard mode, like the co-pilot does that for you, so just continue what you're doing, you don't have to do anything. The co-pilot um, changes all the frequencies for you, uh, things like that. You know, your job as captain is um, control the aircraft basically, make sure that it's doing what it's doing, uh, make sure that it's doing it correctly, um, but yeah that's, um, that's everything we need to do. So yeah, like I said before at the start guys, is that um, once I've wrapped everything up on this flight, once we've landed, things like that, um, once we've completed, I will be uploading this video onto my YouTube. 
that it will be premiering um, tomorrow morning around 10am UK time so if you want to watch it back um, you know if you, if you missed a little bit so you know um, just um, feel free and um, yeah we'll, um, we'll do another flight as well whilst this one's premiering um, we'll just sort this climb out Thirty seven thousand feet, we're fine. We'll go to the cruising altitude. Just watch our instruments here. Just to make sure that we climb correctly. But yeah, that's what I was saying guys, is this one will be premiering tomorrow morning on YouTube. So if you want to watch it back, please feel free to um, and then also we'll be doing another live um, tomorrow morning slash afternoon not too sure when though yet um, and then um, we'll do another flight tomorrow's flight is we'll be leaving Pisa um, Italy where we're destination is today and um, I thought I'd go to London Gatwick. I've gone to London Heathrow. So I just thought I'd go um, to Gatwick. Um, and that'll be in the EasyJet livery. So that's, um, that's what we're pretty much doing tomorrow. And then tomorrow's video I will premiere onto YouTube also. That'll be premiering on Monday morning around 10 a.m. again. So if you've got um, Monday morning free, um, please check that out. So we're climbing out. That's fine. We're nearly at cruising altitude. Just keep an eye on the instruments until um, she gets to the cruising altitude. Then we'll go to the outside view, get some pictures, and um, yeah, enjoy the scenery as we um, head towards Italy. Just above the clouds. busy over London airspace, which it normally is, um, it pretty much is a busy um, airspace, but we're all good, we're fine, that one's climbing out, Mojo, um, it's quite a you on the server this morning with it being the weekend but yeah we're fine we're at cruising altitude um, so we're fine we're stable etc so we'll turn the seatbelt sign off and let the cabin crew and the flight crew um, do the other thing so obviously in a real flight this is where the drinks trolley would come out and you know catering would get sorted out etc um, but yeah we're all we're all good so we'll get picture everyone once we um, just grab my phone grab a nice picture um, we'll do 
hammer and then the showcase so it turns all the altitude readings off and stuff. Um, I'll have a little um, let's have a look see if we can get a nice picture. That's okay there, so we'll just take that, there was me guys. That's fine, so got that picture. And then once, um, once she finished with the camera mode, uh, go back to cockpit view, press the cross, and we're all good. Very cloudy over uh, London. Um, I think they were given thunderstorms later today and over the weekend. Um, so yeah, it's not the best of weather um, in England at the moment. At the moment, um, here in Leeds area, my local, um, so just cloudy, a little bit muggy. Looks like it's going to rain, and uh, yeah, it's just it's just cold and yeah, doom and gloomy outside. So just keep an eye out, uh, we'll be turning shortly, uh, a little bit to the right, um, I think that's over like Norwich area, before we go over the English Channel. But yeah, I'll put it on outside view and um, enjoy the flight everyone. There we go, we'll just put it on that area there so we can see a little bit of um, the aircraft, the clouds and um, yeah that's pretty much it, take off's done, cruising is done, just let the plane just do its business and um, yeah, we've done all the important stuff, we'll just cruise along now as we head towards um, Italy. So I'm not sure what way we are going into Italy um, as I know that obviously the Leaning Tower of Pisa um, is a landmark on the game but I'm not sure if we'll pass it or we'll see it but as we approach Italy, um, I'll have a little look um, outside, see if we can see it, if see if we can spot it um, as we um, do our approach. Not too sure whereabouts it is. I think it's like um, I don't know if it's close to the airport. I'm not too sure, but we'll we'll check it out once we get there. So we are on the North Europe server, if you'd like to fly along with me, we're just going over the, like Norwich area of the UK just before we cross the channel and we're going to um, Pisa. And there's London airspace to my right. Um, so yeah, we're just 
Salted near London, but um, we're, we're left of that basically. Bit windy out. So yeah, I'll um, just mention my um, liveries, the liveries that I'm using on my aircraft. Um, it is, they are available on the marketplace. Um, and we're just banking a little bit to the right, we'll just watch this whilst we talk. Um, but yeah, the liveries are called um, by a creator called Four Simmers, so obviously the number four and then Simmers. Um, I've got the world, Worldwide Park, European Park, American Park, Asia Park. You know, all, all the different packs basically they exist for the A320 aircraft. Um, this is a real um, flight that I found on Flight Aware that um, I think it flew yesterday or it's flying today. Um, not too sure when. Um, yeah, we're just, we're just turning a little bit um, as we line up towards, um, we'll just watch this and about four miles we'll turn a little bit to the right and then um, we're all set for a straight line for a while. So we're turning a little bit, just watch it, just make sure that it doesn't overturn, there we go, we're levelling out, it's fine, yep, she's fine, there we go. So I've got quite a bit of way to go till this next um, turning. So um, we'll um, just switch between the inside so I can just keep an eye on it, see if it's doing what it should be doing. Um, and then we'll um, do the outside view, have a little nosy round, see what we can see. But we are still flying over the UK. Uh, we'll be heading towards the channel over France and then um, over some little bit of ocean and then um, into Italy. Can't see much because of the cloud. But London's over there. So we're still over the UK. We'll um, put the aircraft like that so you can see. And um, yeah, the cloudy UK English weather.
so we're changing frequency, we're out of London airspace and we're heading towards Amsterdam which is in the Netherlands. Been to Amsterdam myself uh, once. Uh, my dad used to live in Holland um, and Amsterdam was the airport that we um, flew to, so from Leeds Bradford um, to Amsterdam. But back then you, they wouldn't let young children fly on their own. Um, so but obviously it was a bit of a trek for my dad. He had to come back to take us. And then once we were coming home, he had to um, come back with us to bring us home. And then he had to go back. So, Brussels. So, Brussels, I've never been to, I've never been to Belgium. Um, but yeah, never been. Never been to France either. Um, I'd like to one day go to Paris, go to the Disneyland there. Um, and um, I've never been to Italy either, which I do want to go to one day, I want to go to Rome. Um, you know, and enjoy the cuisine there as I do enjoy Italian food. I always either go for a pizza um, or some sort of spaghetti bolognese, Italian food, whenever I have a takeaway. But yeah, we um, will press on. So, oh. 
so we're in between like um, airspaces, so we're between Brussels and Paris. So that's why it went a bit, you know, a bit weird then. We went to Paris, um, control, and then we went back to Brussels. So we can see land over there, so that's like, um, like Norwich area. Uh, we're not over ocean yet, um, that is Norwich area, the, um, into Norwich before, uh, Great Yarmouth sort of area, like seaside sort of, um, um, town in the UK, uh, been quite a few times growing up. Still cloudy as we pass over the UK. But, uh, we'll uh, continue as planned. And um, yeah. Let it do its business. And, uh, yeah, it'll be all, all fine. Just change the camera angle so we can... Um, here we go. That'll be fine. So uh, now we're in Paris um, airspace, so we'll um, we'll push on.
So it's a bit cloudy out, so we should be going over ocean shortly, guys. If we haven't already. Um, now we're just about to turn, so just watch out for that and uh, make sure we don't overturn. Um, sometimes it, it does do that. Um, so whenever I turn, I just make sure that um, it doesn't overturn, just keep an eye on it. Um, but once we turn, we will be going over the English Channel and then um, we'll be in um, France. See our descent waypoints are just under 320 nautical miles. So we'll ask for a descent once we get there, just like a little descent till the um, air traffic uh, catches up with us. As um, <coughs> it's better to be prepared, in you know, instead of rushing the last minute. Um, just get the descent waypoint in the nav log uh, before you start the flight so you know um, and uh, yeah we'll um, start our descent just little changes um, as it is easier um, and you're more prepared for landing so we are banking to the left that. and I can see the ocean just ahead of us um, so we're now level again that's fine are we on course that's fine we'll just put we'll put it that way because the land's there so just show you a little bit of the lamp before we go over the ocean. So yeah, we're just flying over Norwich, you know, that sort of area. Uh, we'll be going over the English Channel, flying over France, and then some little bit of ocean, and then um, over the, co the shoreline of um, Italy, and then we'll turn towards Pisa. And hopefully, with a bit of hope, we might be able to see the Leaning Tower of Pisa. But I'm not too sure where um, the Leaning Tower of Pisa is in relation to where Pisa is, where the airport is, etc. So we'll. Um, We'll have to have a look out, have a little nosy out the window um, when we get when we get there. 
So our flight path's fine, pretty much straight line. Our descent is Banco, which is just over 240 nautical miles. We'll just ask for a little descent um, as we um, approach. But all this area now, this straight line, will be over the, um, over the ocean basically. As I've said before, you don't want to be rushing at the last minute. There is certain things you need to do before landing. Uh, you need to slow the aircraft down. You need to sort the flaps. Um, you need to line up with the runway, get the ILS on if you're using ILS. Um, so yeah, I'd rather do it like some people call it a little bit too early but I would just wait for it to we're changing frequency to Paris Yeah, there we go, we're, we're heading towards Paris, um, which I've not yet seen the Eiffel Tower on the game. We did try to do another flight um, a few, like last week, but it did go a bit pear-shaped as I was in the A320. It was a little bit um, slow coming down. Um, as I wanted to sight see the Eiffel Tower but yeah we um, we messed up a little bit there but um, thanks to a fellow um, well I, I, I would say fellow simmer but is an actual real life pilot uh, he um, helped me get the aircraft under control so yeah, very much appreciate if you if your time and your um, help the other night um, as we got into a little bit of a sticky situation um, across Paris. Oh, hello, Mick. Hello, Mick. How are you? Yeah. Oh, you finally found me live. Oh, is it being a bit dodgy, Mick? Yeah, but saying that, I have been doing um, nighttime flights. Uh, we are um, heading towards Pisa, Mick. Um, we're on the North Europe server. Um, we're just, I think we are just about to fly over the English Channel. I think we're like Norwich area, I think. Um, I think we're still over the UK. But anyway, how are you, Mick? Hopefully you're all well. Long time no see. Yeah, this is um, obviously the A320 and um, the Jet 2 livery. So our descent waypoint is Banco. So we'll um, let it do its business. It's a little bit bumpy, I can see it a little bit shaking side to side, a little slight uh, oh, rocking. Oh, we've got a little bit of turbulence there, we've got a lot, lost a little bit of altitude there. I'm fine. Yeah, 
it, it dipped a little bit there, but we're fine. So just keeping on your instruments. Um, but yeah, we're, we're stable, we're fine. So yeah, like I said, everyone, is that um, I will upload this video once we've gone off air. Uh, we'll upload it to YouTube, and um, yeah, it'll be premiering tomorrow. Uh, we're flying tomorrow. If um, anyone would like to join us, I know Mick's got the game. If you'd like to join me, Mick, I've got another flight planned for tomorrow morning uh, around well around this time, probably about eleven o'clock maybe. Uh, I'm gonna go from Pisa, where our destination is today. And then we're going to go to London Gatwick, which I've never flew to London Gatwick um, on the sim. I flew to Heathrow, um, but I just thought we'd go to Gatwick um, and we'll use the easy jet livery. And then also that'll be live streamed tomorrow whilst the other one's premiering. And then uh, tomorrow's live stream will be going on to YouTube on Monday as a premiere so you can always catch up. You can either watch today's video or tomorrow or you can watch the live or wait till, um, wait till Monday morning and then you can catch that. Um, issues to sort out so getting through them going away tomorrow for a break to get some sanity back and clear my head all oh, right Mick oh, I hope everything's all right Mick I've not heard from you for a while um, but yeah if you need a chat Mick just um, you know where I am um, yeah, just um, send me a message. It's all good. I'm here. Um, but yeah, going away. Are you going anywhere a nice, Mick? I know it's the school holidays, so I'm sure there'll be um, what's the word? Bored already, shall we say? Um, So we're all good, we're fine, we should be going some ocean now. No, nope, we'll still have a land. Still have a land. Put the camera there, that's fine. Uh, oh, nice, Mick. I've been to Chroma a few times. Yeah. Yeah, um, I've been to Chroma a few times, Mick. Um, growing up, um, not too far. And do a bit of sightseeing out that way. Oh, nice. Yeah, there's some lovely sights there. I can remember when I was going when I went when I was younger we went to this particular farm on the shoreline of Croma and I can remember we fed um, we fed um, lambs um, that had just been born and um, we also fed um, 
you know, like rabbits, and I can remember one of them nibbled my trousers. So I remember I stood up and um, I had a massive hole in one of my trousers um, where the um, rabbit was nibbling. And I always remember that bit. <laughs> a very, um, very strange memory, but yeah. It's a lovely place, Kroma. Um, hopefully the weather's alright as well for you, Mick, but I know over the weekend it's not too cracky. It. It's going to be a cloudy, bit doom and gloom, raining like it is here. It's just just looks like it's gonna rain um, and then um, I think next week or during the week um, we're supposed to be getting warm again um, especially in the London area yeah yeah not worried about the weather it's just you know when you need to get away you get away don't you and, you know So we're going towards Reims, which is, I believe, France. Um, France area, I'm not too good with my geography. We've got 160 nautical miles before we descend. We'll start our descent. We'll have a little nosy out, it's fine. Um, so yeah, we're, we're all stable, but yeah, back to what we're saying, Mick, yeah, just, it's, it's, it's always nice to get away and in, away from what's going on and, you know, just, just recharge, basically, and, you know, but, um, I'm here, Mick, if, um, you need anything, uh, just send me a message. Um, yeah, hopefully you feel better soon. So we have around 320 nautical miles away from the airport. Um, as you can see that cluster up at the top, um, that would be the airport in Pisa, which is Italy. So um, yeah, that is where we're heading so we'll wait till that is in within range um, and then we'll, um, we'll push it closer within the ND range and um, sort that all out so what we need to do now is we could have done it at any time of the flight really but um, we need to set the auto brakes to medium outside view somehow they always go off so press it again outside view inside view and then just make sure that the blue light's on which it is just sometimes it's a bit weird putting that on but um yeah we're fine and um this means mick as well he'll be able to see me land and um, do my approach and you know all that sort of jazz and because I know sometimes um, you're a little bit unsure of where you should be at and stuff. Um, but yeah, I've got a, I've got a, I've got a list, Mick. Obviously, a list um, that I go to. And it works basically, it works, so um, we'll do that once we, once we descend, just little, little changes, little descends and then the um, air traffic will catch up with us and um, tell us further instruction what to do because some people do say I do it a little bit too early 
um, some of some of it, but I would rather be prepared for landing than having to do it um, all at the same time, basically. I do it step by step, um, lose a little bit of altitude, slow the plane down, put the flaps down. Um, some people choose to do it all at once. Um, but yeah, we have, there's no right, there's no wrong way of doing it. It's just whatever you feel comfortable with. Um, but yeah, we'll, um, we'll crack on. So we're heading towards Bangkok, that's our descent. Um, it does look closer to what it normally is because you know we haven't we've got the full range and D range. So what I tend to do is I just fiddle with this um, and we can see that our oh it's banking a little bit make oh god oh god let's just sort that out sometimes it does that everyone but in that case just take over the autopilot uh, turn it back onto the green line and then uh, re-engage the autopilot sometimes it looks a little bit dodgy when it does that but it should it should come down now that we've turned Yeah, it's it's coming down. It's coming down. Just l just leave it. You don't have to change anything. Um, just leave it. Do its own thing. It will slowly bring it down. Not seeming to be dropping. Let me just see if I can re engage that. Yeah, uh, is it coming down or? Why is it coming down? Let's go to 36. There we go. That's fine now. So we'll just put it back to, um, don't know why it did that, we might be in a little bit of turbulence folks. So just... For some 
shoes and it's not, it's climbing. Oh no, hang on, hang on, we might be in a little bit of turbulence. Oh, no we're not, we need to go down, I'm not too sure what's happening. get this under control. Don't know why it's doing that. No idea why it did that. Um, all of a sudden it just, the nose went up. No idea why that happened. Yeah, we, we're coming down slowly. Got the descent at Banker. Which is just at the top of the screen there. Just watch this altitude change. Um, we, we was cruising at 37,000 uh, 37, feet. So let's change it back to 37,000 feet and then it should um, be okay. I think we're in a little bit of turbulence. turbulence everyone. That's why it's a little bit um, all over the shop. But we had to take over the aircraft um, as we did pitch nose up for no apparent reason. Seems to be okay now. Um, but yeah, I think we got a little bit crosswind and it didn't like it for some reason but oh you didn't see it other day uh, Mick um, me and Rob went from Leeds Bradford to oh no where were it now we went to Parma which is in Mallorca and we flew the same flight path, me and Ron, me and Rob, sorry. And um, he descended fine, somehow he always gets in front of me, God knows how. He descended, he landed, etc. Uh, but when it got to me, um, they gave me the wrong altitude. And I was pretty much touching the mountains, basically. I had to take the, I had to con, I had to take over the autopilot and raise the nose. Um, if I hadn't have checked, I would have crashed into a mountain. Um, but we seem to be stable now on the aircraft. Not too sure what happened. We might have got into a bit of a tailwind, sort of like a sort of, sort of, I don't know, some sort of crosswind and it upset it. But we're fine now. Uh, heading towards our descent. Oh, all our brakes on. That was fine, but yeah. Um, the other night I did a return flight uh, Wednesday night. It was Palmer to Leeds Bradford and it was a real flight personal to me. 
as my sister, my brother-in-law and nieces took the very same flight uh, due to the bad weather, thunderstorms here in the UK on Wednesday. They were delayed around an hour, so basically they were just sat waiting. Um, I presume the pilots had to change their flight plans to get to the UK without being too much of an unpleasant flight. Um, I, saw, I spoke to my sister after she landed and she said it, it wasn't the best. Um, but yeah, I was watching them on the radar and the, st the storms that they must have gone through. Um, but yeah, they did they did fly pretty, pretty low. Um, they were only like flying 11,000 feet all the way through the flight, which I presume was to fly at a low altitude away from the storms. Um, but yeah, that was um, interesting to watch them approach Lee's Bradford. Um, as you do obviously have to go out and then swing. Well, what they do is they fly over Lee's Bradford and then they swing round and then they line up. As obviously we knew, obviously me knowing it's my local airport, there's only one um, runway basically. You take off uh, one direction and you, you uh, land in one direction. And um, yeah, it's the high, one of the high, I think it's the highest um, runway in England. Or one of the highest. Um, so yeah, it's. Um, bit of a challenge is Lees Bradford, there's always a queue. I always remember if I fly from Lees Bradford, there is a queue to get out or to get in. A lot of planes circle um, if there's one in front of you of course and you know if there's one taking off you've got a circle etc. So um, growing up we, we um, did most of our flying when we went on holidays we went from Manchester uh, Manchester's only around an hour drive um, something like that so whenever we went on holiday it was always Manchester departure um, but yeah Nearly at our um, nearly at our um, descent waypoint. So how I know that is I've looked at the nav log at the start of the flight. Um, looked at took note of the waypoint of descent. I know now that we're flying over France. Oh. oh show a little bit of the Alps here. Here we go, we've got a little bit of Alps there. Show a little bit of that. So yeah, that's um, that's got to be the French Alps. Uh, well, we are descending. We're at a decent altitude. It's a nice representation. Lovely, nice. I like that. Yeah, got snow on the top as well. Flying over mountains. 
but at least we didn't crash into them. There we go, we'll just um, put it there a little bit. Just a um, bit note of our descent. So we've got around seven nautical miles till I'll ask for a descent. What I'll do is, before we do the descent, we'll get everybody's um, seat belts on. Um, here we go. Everyone back to the seats. And um, once we pass Banker, we'll just um, let's, we'll just ask for a little descent um, of around probably three thousand, four thousand feet. Not too sure. Um, we might have to wait till we pass. We'll actually fin we'll actually wait till we finished um, flying over the mountains. Cause I don't want to descend now, as we will just go into the mountains basically. So we'll wait till we finished passing over the mountains and then we'll ask for a descent. We've gone past the descent waypoint but um, we'll, um, we'll wait for us to um, finish um, over the mountains. see how um, how far out we are so ZD range is we are 116 nautical miles away from the airport but we'll just leave it like that so we know um, of our turns what we need to do we'll just wait till we pass over the Alps and get over the more that way and then we'll ask for our little descents as we um, approach for landing. We'll be landing in around uh, about half an hour, 45 minutes, something like that. Um, but yeah, we like, we like to um, just descend gradually, um, then um, just just take us time really. Make sure everything's okay, everything's working, everything's um, in place for landing. As you don't want to, um, you don't want to. Um, be doing it all last minute basically. So we've had a pretty pleasant journey from Lee's Bradford. Um, yeah we'll be we'll be arriving shortly, about half an hour, forty five minutes. We'll be touching down on Pisa. Hopefully the landing will be fine. I always get a little bit, um, a bit, of, a little bit panic um, as we touch down. I think it's because I'm a perfectionist. I want it to be, you know, um, a, a, a smooth landing. But we should be fine. Think positive, everyone. So we're just passing um, well, like the Alps are behind us there. Oh nice, that is lovely scenery. Oh is that, 
I don't know. It must be the Alps, the French Alps. Lovely. We'll wait till we we're over the threshold because we don't want to descend. Um, like, um, you know. Oh, let me let me just take a picture, everyone. That is a brilliant picture. Oh, no, not that one. Before before we start to descend, everyone, I'll um, take a picture. See where we can get it from. That'll that'll do. Uh, we'll just press. Here we go, we'll go back to uh cockpit, sorry, that bit confusing, that one. So we'll have to start our descent now that we're over the Alps. I uh, just didn't want to crash into the Alps. Um, but yeah, we'll, um, we'll start our descent, we'll ask for 3,000 feet. Uh, what's happened here? Ah, oh. we're changing frequency. That's why. There we go. Now it should let us do it. Uh, we'll ask for 3,000 feet. Here we go. So she's slowly coming down. Small little changes, uh, just bring her down nice and slow. We've got 120 nautical miles. Uh, to the airport, so we've got plenty of time to um, do a thing basically. But there's the Alps, so we just flew over, we didn't want to descend uh, too early as we would have just crashed into them basically. Um, we'll get this thing down.
was a loss for a decrease of uh, 4,000 feet. Going towards the ocean, so um, we'll be doing the shoreline of Pisa. Uh, we're dropping altitude, that's fine. Just small little changes, just small little descents. Um, so we're not like doing it all at the same time, having to slow the aircraft down. Um, just like, just stuff like that, you don't want to be doing it too late. Um, but yeah, that's what um, what works. Uh, some people choose to do it all at the same time, but I prefer to um, set it all up, go to the checklist, and um, make sure that you know everything's okay. Don't know what happened there. We've done a sudden drop. That's it. I don't know what's happening. We might be in a little bit of turbulence. Um, sort of like a like a down like a downdraft sort of um, thing going on. Nice and steady. So we'll change the ND range so it doesn't look as though we are so close to the airport. Um, we are heading towards ocean, which will fly over ocean towards Italy. So we'll be turning slightly left, and then um, we'll um, we'll be going towards the airport. Not too sure again where the Leaning Tower of Pisa is in relation to where the airport is. Um, I actually do a quick Google of that and see where it is um, in relation to um, where 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 the airport is basically. I'm guessing it's in the main town. Um, so I'll have a quick look um, of where it is. So in relation to, oh it's quite close actually. Um, it's pretty where the airport is, it's just north of the airport is the leading tower of Pisa. I'm not too sure if we will pass it uh, as we are going over the ocean then we're turning in. I think we'll just miss it. Um, but yeah, that's a bit, bit unfortunate but we need to get this plane down and concentrate on landing. So we'll ask for another altitude, 4,000 feet. Here we go. Down she goes. So I think the airport is 
to the left of us. Um, but yeah, we'll um, we'll concentrate on the descent. And the Tower of Pisa is north of the airport, so I'm guessing in that cloud area somewhere is the Leaning Tower of Pisa, the landmark. It'll, it'll pop up uh, once we get closer. There'll be like a like a like a line where it is, and it'll tell us where it is. But yeah, we'll um, concentrate on the landing, getting the aircraft down. But yeah, this is what I do, Mick. This is how Rob's taught me how to do it, is that you just ask for little descents um, till you get to a low, low enough altitude of 18,000 feet when you need to change the uh, pressure and then um, obviously air traffic control will get in touch with you and uh, do the rest, uh, get your flaps down, all that sort of jazz. So we're around 80 nautical miles away from the airport. We're descending slowly but surely. Um, yeah, we'll ask for another 4,000 feet once we get level. Last for it now, we are level, nice and sunny, towards um, the Leaning Tower of Pisa. We're turning just slightly. Just watch it a little bit because we don't want it to um, overturn. We'll start with another 4,000 feet. So we, we want to go to 220. Here we go. Flying over ocean like the shoreline of Italy. Italy is um, there obviously we can see the Alps from here that's quite nice what we just flew over um, but yeah we'll um, keep an eye on the descent we're at 80 range so we'll wait till we're 40 miles and then we'll um, sort this out We'll change the range now actually, otherwise it'll look closer than it actually is. So we'll go to 40 nautical miles. We've got um, 45 nautical miles to the next waypoint, so we're fine. We're more than, we're about 16 nautical miles away from the airport. Oh, he went a bit fast on there. So yeah, if you're still there, Mick, um, I know like the descent sort of like confuses you a little bit, but this is how this is how I do it. Um, just little descents um, after your waypoint and nav log. And um, yeah, just um, just little ones. Can see the next waypoint. So we'll get down to about eighteen thousand feet, and then uh, we'll pull the uh, pressure. The last twenty-two. So we'll go to. 
probably go to 17,000 feet. So that's a descent of, oh, math I can't even do, 21, 20, 19, 18, that's, f oh, 15,000 feet it wants to do. So it's taken over, so. It's taken over, so we don't have to do that anymore. It's doing to the right as well. It's turning to the left. So I'll just take over that. We'll get ready with the pressure. Uh, once we get down to below 18. And then we'll um, get a lower altitude once we get to 15,000. Um, as we approach, we'll sort the, you know, the flaps out, the speed, etc. The, you know, the everything else we need to do, ready for landing. So yeah, just think positive. We can do this. Uh, we know what to do. It's just about, uh, just about doing it, really. Yeah, just wait for it to go below 18,000 feet and then that's when you need to press your pressure and then reset your altimeter. Um, so obviously it picks up um, your, um, your frequency or whatever it is. What is it? It's, yeah, frequency. So reset your ultimate data, so we're on 10, 10, zero four, uh, 10 zero 7, sorry. Uh, we're going down to 15,000 feet. And we're around 40 nautical miles away from the airport. That's what I need. Need that actually. With the decimal, I think. I think it's the decimal one that we need. I don't think it matters as long as. So it's got us 3,000 feet, so we'll go. Oh. I don't want to do that, we want to go to 10,000 feet, we'll sort the flaps out. Right, let me just write this down, we've got us 3,000 feet clearance. Um, we'll slow this aircraft down, so we'll go to 210 knots. 10,000 feet 
and uh, we'll wait till she levels out at 10,000 feet and then we'll do the um, flaps put the landing gear on uh, landing here we go So we've got this 3,000 feet clearance, but we'll we'll just go slowly and surely, just get down there. Oh, hello, Rob. Hello, Rob. Uh, we're just descending. Yeah, we're just we're just descending, Rob. Um, we're just. Um, uh, she wanted me to go to. What are now? Seven So we'll get down to 10,000 feet and then uh, we'll do this first bunch of laps, we'll slow the aircraft down and then get down to like 7,500 feet, do the other set of flaps. That's how I do it. So how are we doing, um, Rob? Um, we should be alright, uh, we are sort of that close away change the ND range otherwise it'll confuse us for that turn. Here we go, we know where his descent is. Um, change, reset the altimeter as well as we descend. We can do this, we can do this everyone. We didn't crash into the Alps, uh, Rob. Here we go. Yep. Uh, Rob, I've not, I've not crashed. Two thousand feet. Did that say two thousand feet, Rob? So we've done the first set of flaps, first set of flaps are down. We need to sort this aircraft out now. We need to slow it down. 180. We need, we should be at 15 flaps, that's fine. We uh, need to go to 160. Uh, 
I waited till um, I waited a little bit longer to descend, Rob, because I was flying over the Alps and I didn't want to crash. Um, you know, I didn't want to crash into the Alps, so I left it a little bit later um, because if I'd have, you know, if I'd have descended when the waypoint was, I would have just crashed basically. Yeah. So we're turning. We're at twenty percent flats. We need to go down to one forty. Landing gear. Where are we now? Ah, the LS should. Right, so as LLS should work now, Rob. Yeah, it should work, shouldn't it, Rob? Oh yeah, we're, we're pretty much there. Just wait for his um, diamond, Rob. So is that right, Rob? Just wait for the arrow, wait for, sorry, the um, diamond on the right to move down. Oh, yeah, it's moving, it's moving. We can see it, we can see it, we can see it, we can see it. Good, 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 good. So it's slowly coming down. Um, we've got everything on, we've got the landing gear down. Yeah, I know what to do, Robbie. I just get panicky every time I do a flight. I always get panicky. I don't know why. I don't know why. I'm just a perfectionist and I just want to do it right and just not make a mess, basically. I know it's a simulation, but... Right, so we're on approach. Pressed it. I have hit it, Rob. I have hit it. I've hit it, but I don't know if it's done it right. Has it, has it done it or do I have to, oh god, land it manually, I don't like that Rob. Oh god. 
Wish me luck everyone. I don't like driving manually. Yeah, no, Rob. One hundred. Sixty, fifty, forty, thirty, twenty. Retire. Oh, God. There we go everyone, we've made it uh, down, um, tried to um, get down as smoothly as possible, um, turn next taxiway, where the hell's the next taxiway Rob? Me. Oh no, it's here. It's here. How should I know? Well, I don't know, Rob. We just like to ask Rob questions. So, welcome to Pisa, guys. Uh, I'm not too sure what happened with the approach. I did press it, Rob, but it just didn't uh, lock on for some reason. And I think Rob will be there just saying, get off the bloody runway. Here we go. We are, we're doing that now, mister. Thank you. So we'll just contact Rob, this is what I tend to do. Um we need, we've just landed make a bit of a bumpy ride, the approach didn't work so I had to drive it manually. How did we, um, <laughs> how did we do? Have we passed uh, today's flying? Yeah, we did fine. We we could have been straighter, but um, I didn't want to be too rough with the thumbstick, Rob. I didn't want to um, overdo it, uh, turning and you know turn over the aircraft, so just nice and gentle. Uh, oh. You was watching going round Asda. Oh, hello, Mick. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty alright with that landing. I've had worse landings. Nice.
So I think that's the Leaning Tower of Pisa, just over there I think, I think that's the Leaning Tower of Pisa. Let's go to our gate, not too sure where we're going, but yeah, what time are we on? Uh, 1pm 1, 1 here in the UK, so I'm not too sure what time it'll be in. Pisa, I think they're an hour. You're on your wheels, I count that as a successful. Yeah, I am, yeah, I am Mick as well. I'm not I'm not on my side and I haven't crashed. Not too sure why it is telling me to go in and then back out, maybe because I'm on a runway. But we'll just go straight forward, there's no there's no taking off or anything like that. Um, but yeah, I think that's the Leaning Tower of Pisa, that landmark thingy. There's no, there's no coming, there's no, you know, we'll, we'll just turn off this one here. Alright, so it's 14.07. 14.07 in Italy, people. Uh, ask me about his adventures landing in the Spitfire. Oh god, what do I need to know, Mick? What do I need to know? Bloody Spitfire's too quick. I wouldn't have a bloody clue what I'm doing. God. So we'll just taxi to the um, gates and we'll do all the jars, we'll do um, the baggage hold and the power cable, the catering, all that sort of stuff. Oh my days, the Spitfire does not handle well. <laughs> oh dear me. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't like the thought of the Spitfire. I don't know why, I just, I don't know, I just don't like it. I'm going to crash into that car, but it's fine. Come on, aircraft coming in, mister. Oh, nearly, well, missed him, just. Come on, fan move out way. Yep. Not too sure why it wants us to go in and then come out. Uh, oh, that's what that is. That in the Leaning Tower of Pisa. I don't know what that is. I can't pronounce it because I don't speak Italian. So it's pretty much straight forward um, um, arrival. Um, but yeah, we're pretty pretty pleased with that. Um, as I've said, we've had worse landings. Our telling as um, arrival, our telling Mick about as arrival of the night, Rob, into Parma when I nearly crashed into the mountain. That arrival is not working. Well, it worked for Rob, but it didn't work for me. But, God knows. Oh yeah, that's right Rob, you had a different arrival, didn't you? Oh yeah, that was it, yeah. Oh god, yeah, it was horrible that. So our jetways uh, connectors, yeah, that's good. We'll turn the seatbelt signs off, everybody can now go into the terminal. And um, 
look at our uh, all that jazz plugin and you know stuff like that. I do like that sort of stuff. Art ground services, power supply. And my, uh, there we go. There it is. So we'll just take a picture, folks, for our um, arrival. Just to show it off a little bit, um, but yeah, we'll um, take the picture and wrap things up. Uh, hopefully, you've all enjoyed it. Thank you to everyone who's obviously been here from the start. Said hello. Thank you to my new follow as well. But um, yeah, um, this. Um, let me just. Um, oh, not that one. Oh, Rob, we've done it wrong. We've done it wrong. Right, we'll go back to cockpit. That one. And go like that. And then the flight. That's it. Well, that's what we want to do. So, yeah, we did uh, one hour 50 minutes, uh, which is not too shabby. All in adding up to our flight log um, hours and things like that. So, like I said before, guys, um, this will be uploaded to YouTube. It will uh, premiere around 10 a.m. tomorrow UK time, um, and then um, we'll do my link to my YouTube if you want to um, watch it back or whatever. So that was a flight from Leeds Bradford to Pisa. Tomorrow we'll be doing another flight from Pisa to London Gatwick. I thought we'd do London Gatwick. I flew to Heathrow in the game. So we'll do that. Tomorrow we'll go to Gatwick. Um, if you're available, Rob. Um, I know Mick's going away. Um, but yeah, we'll be doing the flight from Pisa to London Gatwick in the easy jet livery um, in the morning as this one is premiering. So you can either swap, change, whatever you want to do. Um, but yeah, until tomorrow, guys. Take care. And... Um, Enjoy the rest of your morning, day, evening, wherever you are. But until tomorrow, guys, take care and bye for now. Bye, guys.